Hey there, thinkers. Welcome back to Critical Hit. My name is S, your friendly neighborhood nerd, and today we're going to talk about The Ultimate Spider-Man. We're diving headfirst in the tangled web of Marvel's latest triumphs and tribulations. So grab your spandex and your sense of humor, and let's get into it. If this article feels like a rerun, that's only because I hit the rewind button. But hey, why not relive the magic, right? So let's revisit the part where we talk about making those sweet, sweet doll hairs. Yeah, Star Wars might be facing the dark side, but fear not, because Spider-Man and Mickey Mouse are teaming up like an unstoppable duo just to rescue Marvel's bank account. Talk about a power couple. In a twist worthy of a Marvel plotline, the comic book giant has announced a comedic makeover for its beloved Ultimate Spider-Man series. Fans were caught in a web of surprise and intrigue of the news of the change spread faster than Spider-Man swinging through Manhattan. Some fans responded with, I told you so smirks, while others were kind of shocked, as if they were bitten by a radioactive spider themselves. However, not everyone is convinced that humor is the answer to Marvel's woes. Some fans are worried that sacrificing the serious tone of the original series in favor of comedy may alienate some longtime readers and dilute the essence of what made Spider-Man such a beloved character in the first place. Critics argue that injecting humor into the series may attract younger audiences, but it risks alienating older fans who grew up with the more traditional portrayal of the web-slinger. Now, let's swing into action with Spider-Man. Marvel is clearly giving him the royal treatment, and he's lapping it up like a cat with a saucer of milk. And can we blame them? Spidey has been clearly spinning webs and making dough since before most of us could even spell superhero. Issue number one of Ultimate Spider-Man crashed into the scenes like a damn rock star. This comic has been selling like hotcakes and not just any hotcakes, mind you. We're talking about Iron Man stood up pancakes here. Seriously, it's like ranking in more cash than a Tony Stark garage sale. Cover A, which is more valuable than vibranium, it's like they just hit the jackpot for a comic book slot machine. Just wait, there's more. The impact on fans is so much bigger than Hulk on leg day. People are rushing back to the comic book shops like it's the running of the bulls. This book has got everything fans have been craving for. A married Peter Parker with kids and Mary Jane Watson to boot. Take that one more day. Fans are buzzing with excitement, tossing theories around like Captain America's shield. It's reignited a passion for Marvel Comics that many have thought was dead as Uncle Ben. Sorry, Uncle Ben. The success isn't about the numbers. It's about reminding everyone why they fell in love with these characters in the first place. It's like a love letter to comic book fans, sealed with a web-shaped kiss. Mwah. Oh, perfection. Okay, now let's talk about the numbers. Ultimate Spider-Man issue number one isn't just a hit, it's a phenomenon. It's climbing the charts faster than Spider-Man scaling a skyscraper. Cover A, selling for a cool $56 on eBay. That's more valuable than a Golden Age comic in mint condition. And it's not collectors driving up the prices. Fans are clamoring just to get their hands on a piece of comic book history. And Marvel? Well, they'll be basking in the glory. The Ultimate Spider-Man issue number one shot up to an impressive number one spot for the top 10 sales slots for the cover price tracking list, which is the week of February 5th for the comic sales activity. Talk about a victory lap. It's safe to say that Marvel's gamble paid off and then some. So here's to the Ultimate Spider-Man number one, the little comic that could. Will it save the comic book industry? Probably not. But for now, let's just enjoy the ride and bask in the glory of a good comic done right. And who knows, maybe this is just the beginning of Marvel's comeback to her. But hey, the conversation doesn't end here. Let me know your thoughts on the matter down in the comments. And if you made it this far, hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and ring the notification bell to be notified for our next video. This is Est, signing off, and I'll catch you in the next one. Toodles!